morning my dear students in this particular lesson we are going to start our new chapter that is chapter number 10 cell and cell organelles so as we have studied in the very first chapter of the subject the classification of living organisms in that chapter we have seen that all the living organisms present on the mother earth have been classified into five kingdoms okay we have seen the kingdoms that is kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia okay we know the basic classification of any living organism depends on the cells number of cells present in that organism okay so we know the living organism can be classified as unicellular living organism and multicellular living organism okay so the unicellular organisms are those organisms we have which have only one cell okay which are made up of only one cell for example bacteria like uh, bacteria like amoeba paramecium euglena lactobacillus okay or viruses those are unicellular organisms whereas for multicellular organism are those organisms which are made up of n number of cells okay for example we human beings and all the animals birds fishes plants are an example of multicellular organism we can see multicellular organism with our naked eyes but if you want to observe unique cellular organism we have to use certain instruments okay so we can use compound microscope to observe some microorganisms and the microorganisms which are very 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 much minute or small to observe such microorganisms we have to use electron microscope okay now the body of any animal is made up of cells okay so n number of cells are combined together to form a tissue and many more tissues are combined together to form organs organs are combined together to form a organ system and all the organ systems are combined together to form a body of that living organism now in this particular chapter we are going to deal with the cells of plant and animal okay both the types of cell that is plant cell and animal cell are somewhat dissimilar or different from each other okay there are some cell organelles present in plant cell which are present also in animal cell but some of the organelles are absent in animal cell which are present in plant cell okay so first we will see the structure of plant cell as you can see the plant cell is somewhat hexagonal in shape okay the plant cell has a cell wall then it has a cell membrane okay a cytoplasm is there and inside the cytoplasm you will find certain cell organelles like nucleus full vacuole golgi complex mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum and one of the significant organelle of plant cell is chlor chloroplast okay on the other hand in animal cell you can see there is a cell membrane but cell wall is absent in animal cell okay there is no cell wall present in animal cell apart from that you will see nucleus golgi complex mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum cytoplasm and other organelles chloroplast is absent okay we have to keep this in mind now there are certain functions of all the organelles in a cell okay each and every organelle of the cell is going to perform some functions okay and these functions are responsible for the growth of a living organism in the next lecture we are going to study those functions in a very detailed manner for this particular lecture you will have a homework and your homework is you have to write down the differences between these two cells that is plant cell and animal cell okay in the next lecture we will start to study the organelles in detail until then goodbye